Hello everyone, it's Suzanne here. Today I'm going to be doing a project with the July kit called And the Sky is Grey from Arnie Vera Scrap and Craft. Today I'm going to be using this stamp from Darkroom Door called Woodlands. I'm also going to be using the ink pads from Hero Arts called Winter. And I'm going to use Cornflower and Navy, an Versamark ink and some archival ink. And let's get started. So I've got my paper ready on my stamp platform and it's pushed right up into the corner because after I've stamped it this first time, I'm actually going to move it just a tiny bit so I'm looking for the effect of the moonlight hitting the branches in the dark forest I saw this technique used on a project on Pinterest and thought I would give it a go with this stamp alright so that's stamped and now we're just going to move it a tiny bit and I'm going to stamp this time with archival ink so it would it would work better with a Versamark um, black onyx but I don't have one of those so I'm going to have to use my archival ink I hope it doesn't wreck it and um, do the Versamark over the top. Okay, so I need this to turn out quite dark. So I'm just stamping it again with the archival ink and then I'm going to stamp it again over the top of that with the Versamark ink so that I can then emboss it. Okay, and again with the Versamark. powder so now I just cut a cardboard circle that's going to be the mask for my moon and I'm going to start off with the lighter, so the cornflower, and down a bit further, I think. Okay, just going to go lightly around. darker one so the navy and go around that let's try and blend them a little bit so there's no white I think I'll use some archival ink just to touch the 
these edges so it's getting darker the further away from the moon. It's really hard to see but as I bring it closer to the camera you can see that white um, uh, area where it just looks like um, the moonlight is hitting the branches. Okay, so after finishing that one, I decided I was just going to do a very simple one, just stamping the once with my uh, black archival ink and using the same ink pads to do some shading. So I, I stamp it a couple of times just to make sure I'm getting a lovely crisp image. So again, I'm just using the corn flower ink pad before moving on to the navy and then my black archival ink. After finishing the two panels, I cut them both out and mapped them in the same way and made two cards and just added a sentiment that says warmest wishes and I think they make great cards for men. So thank you so much for watching today. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.